time with this vulture is very cool. It's, it's a very huge freedom sensation, like feeling like, yeah, you're connecting with a bird on the sky. I guess he, he recognized my, my wing because it's a, a red wing and not many people fly with that. So when I start to, to put my wing down, he can see from far away and then you approach. And there was another day that uh, he wasn't there. And I started flying by myself and like in two minutes he came from nowhere and joined me. I used to go uh, fly to paraglide during the week, so there's not many people around. Mostly of the days it's just me paragliding. With the birds, there was not that much movement. He would approach slowly, I would like start touching him and he would like mess with my stuff, with my gear, start to walk around over everything and like, yeah. So like we start to have like this relationship uh, of he coming close and like I just touching him a little bit. And then uh, when I would fly, he would fly by my side literally like side by side and in the beginning he would like crash on my lines a bit dangerous and scary he was learning how to fly after a couple of times flying side by side with him he came by me and land behind my back and then when i land normally he would land on the side and wait for me to pack the gear and then he'll fly away to his house the name for the bird in brazil is urubu we call him uru to get up in the mountain you you need to track like in a trail up for 15, 20 minutes. And he would just show up on the middle of the trail. We would be walking up with the backpacks and he would be there sitting by the trail. I was like, what? How does he know we are here? I don't know, He's he have a very good vision. He can see when we are, I'm like about to get in the mountain and then he will be there. He just comes to fly. There's a environmentalist near town by the mountain where we paraglide. This guy has rescued the vulture. I've seen the bird around, kind of got used it to people when he was very young. But then I, I he started to fly by himself. That happened, he learned his way to the mountain. The bird would fly around in the mountain. So when we paraglide, uh, we are always looking for these uh, thermals because they are hot air. They start uh, going up and then it's lighter than the air around. So you can paraglide in circles around these thermals and then you go up with the thermals. So you can fly for hours. And this is what the vultures do. For paragliders, vultures are one of the, the most important uh, signs to you watch. Like you're always looking for where the vultures are because they walk, they are lazy. Like they don't want to fly, they just want to glide. So they just keep the, the wings open and glide on these thermals. Also around the mountain where the Called lift wind, so the wind hits the mountain and goes up. So they fly around this part, so they literally just glide. So they save energy. They're very intelligent birds, and people are afraid of him. Like people are really like afraid because sometimes he gets too close to the lines. Like the other day, I was flying this strong wind and thermals. He was kind of bothering me because it was the day that he he landed more on me. I was like flying crazy conditions, so I need to like keep my concentration at the maximum. And this bird would be flying over my head, over my arms, and then he would jump on my legs. So he'll be all over the place. 